Good morning. This is day 12 of the Flexible Body, Flexible Mind 30-Day Yoga Challenge. The theme we're working with today is release. So this will be a really slow-paced, yummy 10-minute morning yoga flow suitable for all levels with no props required. So to start this class, we're actually going to begin lying down on our backs and I'll give you some options here. So you're either going to begin in a reclined twist or the way I'm going to do it. You can start with your feet as wide as the mat and then you're flexing the feet so only your heels are touching and you can drop both knees and thighs down over towards the left. And then I'm going to cross my left ankle over the top of my right knee so that I'm getting a nice thigh stretch here. And I'm even going to extend my right arm overhead. So for some people, this feels really good. And for others, it might not feel quite right for your knee or for your hips. So if that's the case, you can just instead stack one thigh over the other and do a regular reclined twist. So choosing the pose that feels the best to you today. So my right arm is up and I'm just kind of resting my left hand onto my lower belly. And you can close your eyes. What is it that you need this morning? How can you use your time on the mat to really set the tone for the day ahead? And when you think about release, what comes to mind for you? Take one more big belly breath here. And you can uncross the legs. We're gonna ease our way to the second side. So lift the knees back up, realign yourself if you notice your pelvis have sh has shifted a little bit. And then we're gonna flex the feet, drop both knees and thighs over towards the right. And maybe you're hooking your right ankle over the top of that left knee trying to lengthen out of your lower back and stretching your left arm up towards the sky or simply doing a traditional reclined spinal twist. So one is not better than the other. They're both great poses. You really just want to check in and see what feels the most nurturing for you today. So maybe what you're releasing is judgment and expectation. Just finding some softness here. Take three more breaths. And you can uncross the legs, float your knees back up, and let's just pull our knees in towards the belly. A little reclined child's pose. I'm just gonna rock a little bit side to side, massaging the lower back. And we'll do like a Supta Gomukhasana or a reclined cow face pose. So you're going to cross your right thigh as far over and on top of the left one as possible bending into your knees and then maybe you're just working at pulling your knees in towards your chest or you can slide your hands further down reaching towards your shins or down towards your ankles and if you have that think of moving your feet away from one another and then also pulling them down so really getting into our outer hips here with this pose try to relax head and shoulders on the mat And if you have a hard time keeping a slow and deep breath rhythm, it usually means that you are pushing a little bit too much. 
or that there's just a little too much intensity in the stretch. And let's release, switch sides right away. So unwind and wrap your left thigh over your right one, either pulling them directly in or reaching for your feet, winding the feet and then pulling them down. One more breath. And let's release Ananda Balasana, our final reclined pose here. You can hold on to the feet or again, just the ankles or your shins. I'm using my elbows to push my knees wider, still pressing my shoulders down and away from the ears and trying to bring those thighs down a little bit more, pushing the tailbone into the floor. And let's release, find your way into your tabletop pose. You can rock up, crossing at your ankles and stepping your feet and your knees back, tabletop pose. So you have your hands under your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Push into your fingertips and knuckles and we're just gonna step that right foot back, push back into your right heel. Get a nice little calf stretch here and shift your weight back to neutral, pivot so you can roll onto the inner edge of that right foot, modified side plank, variation of Vashistasana, right arm extends all the way up towards the sky. And if you'd like, you're welcome to add on here by squeezing into the glutes and maybe floating and lifting that right leg and right foot off the mat. So just a little bit of strength activation here. Bring your right foot back down, bring your right hand back down, come back to where you were. So lifting that right heel off the mat and we're going to over cross. So you're going to cross your right foot over the left one. I want you to push out into your right hip and start to look back towards that right foot. So big side body stretch. And let's come all the way back through to center. Same thing to the other side, left leg steps back, push out into your left heel. Coming back to neutral, roll to the inner edge of that left foot. Modification of Vashisthasana, your side plank pose. You're balancing on your right hand, your right knee, your left foot. And maybe adding on by lifting that left foot and leg at about hip height. Set the left foot down, left hand down, lift your left heel up and you're going to cross your left foot over the right one, push out into your left hip and start to look back towards that left foot. So big side body stretch. And all the way back through to center. Let's find downward dog from here so you can either walk your hands out or walk your knees back. Tuck the toes under, lift your hips all the way up. And just paddle the feet here, so bending one knee, straightening the opposite leg, shifting back and forth. Relax your neck and your head. Come all the way forward into plank and lower down to your belly. Point your toes back once you're there and widen your hands coming up onto your fingertips here. You're going to push into the ground, squeeze your shoulder blades behind you, find a little back bend here. So a different variation of a Cobra Bhujangasana pose. Try to get a little bit more lift 
through the front of your heart. And exhale, soften back down. So I'm just going to bring one hand over the other. I'm going to bend my knees here. I'm widening my legs. I'm bending my knees as if I'm doing a belly butterfly pose. So bringing the soles of the feet together to touch. And you might feel more comfortable just hanging out here, feet together. Or what I like to do is to do like a little windshield wiper motion a few times before settling into it. This is a very different variation different way of working through the inner thighs and inner hips and just take a few more breaths in this belly butterfly pose trying to let gravity pull your feet down hmm. And you can straighten your legs. <laughs> and we're going to press our way back, coming to take a seat in any way that is comfortable to you. Closing your eyes, hands at your heart, Anjali Mudra. Let's close this morning yoga flow by chanting Om one time. Inhale to chant, breathe in. Thank you so very much for doing day 12 of this challenge with me. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Remember, you now need to head over to the flexible mind portion of this daily challenge. And you should see the link to that somewhere on the screen, or I'll post the link down below in the description box. Leave me a comment before you go, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 13.